All right, good Thursday evening, everyone. Uh, so this upcoming weekend, uh, some may have the day off tomorrow. Good Friday. Then we have Easter, which is expected to be a uh, wet as well. But chances are showers are only going to be around for the morning hours for tomorrow. So you can see temperatures are going to be in the mid 50s. So here over the Easter weekend, uh, expect to have the rain gear nearby. Now, if you are looking for some drier times, it looks like later on into tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night and then into the earlier half of Saturday. And that's when we'll have our drier stretch after we head into more of Saturday evening, especially Saturday night. Here comes more of the rain, which is going to stick around for a good portion of the day for Sunday. Now check out what's happening now. Areas here in Bellingham and across Whatcom County. Not a lot of rain here today because of that rain shadow, which has really kept Whatcom County, the San Juan Islands, Skagit County, even parts of Camino and Whidbey Island relatively dry. While out here along the coast and parts of Puget and South Sound, really, we've been seeing more of the rain. Westport, you can see the wet camera lens that is there. And then also for us here in Seattle, 52, that water droplet right there at the top, going to be sticking with us here into the evening. East winds at 10 could get as high as at about 15 to 20 as we head on into the night. Temperatures low to mid 50s and no 40s to speak of, but still a cooler than average air mass, which is still going to be a theme for us into the weekend and into next week where we expect things to get even cooler. Now we're going to keep things active too. where you can see though some of those really dark greens. That's where we have some moderate to heavier rainfall. We're seeing that along the western slopes of the Olympics as well as the south slopes of the Olympics and Mason County in particular too has been picking up some of the heavier rainfall and we're seeing that beginning to extend farther to the east over the Kitsap Peninsula and some heavier showers down here along the I-5 corridor through parts of Thurston County and down getting closer to Chehalis. Farther north you go right here. It looks like Seattle. We're dealing with a period of some moderate to lighter rain. Pretty steady anywhere you go though. It looks like we are going to keep that pretty consistent here into the nighttime hours and then there you go. You can see where we do have more of that rain shadowing keeping things much drier farther to the north. Wind advisory north coast until 2 a.m. later into the night. Some gusts could get up to about 50 miles per hour and elsewhere we'll see gusts between about 25 to maybe 40 miles per hour. Future radar shows this moisture continuing to track on through, but you'll see that begin to break up a little bit as we go deeper into the night. So the front, it will be making its way on by, but it doesn't arrive until we head into early tomorrow morning at about 8 a.m. Once that moves on by, we're dealing with maybe a few chances of showers into tomorrow afternoon, but generally a drying pattern and some clearing skies too to go along with that. And then we really don't see the next round of rain coming back in until we go later into the afternoon here closer to Puget Sound coming in throughout the morning as we go closer to the coast. And that's going to stick with us again throughout the day, Saturday evening and into Saturday night and into Sunday where we're going to see a good amount of rain here on into the Easter holiday. As far as amounts of rain, I think maybe a little less than what you're seeing right here. Models overdoing it just a bit around Puget Sound, more of a quarter of an inch, perhaps a half an inch in some of those sweeter spots off towards the west. Uh, it's definitely between a half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch around there with more of the persistent rain. Seven day forecast, a lot of 50s showing up, but there's the cool down I did mention Monday and Tuesday, even Wednesday highs back around 50 degrees, even the upper 40s on Tuesday back up to 53 by next Thursday.